Hello everyone, this is your introduction to the Posies Inlay Cover Plate Die. So what this is going to do is create this gorgeous assortment of flowers on the front of your card. Again, with the die cut inlay technique, you can create either an entire panel of the same color flower, or you can die cut it out of multiple colors of cardstock to change up the color of your flowers and your stems and leaves. So for your front panel, this is what it would look like where you are die cutting it out of cardstock and then all of those pieces are going to fall out. So here are a few pieces that I saved and I'll show you how they line up. So you can just pick them up either with your tweezers or a pick and place tool and just line them up and fill it in like a puzzle. So these pieces are all separate, your leaves, your stem. There's actually three pieces to the flower. There's the outside, the inside, and then there's a center piece. You could use the same color cardstock for the stem and the leaves, but I thought it was really fun to use two different colors. This happens to be parsley and sprout. And then I used, I believe it was either honeycomb or a buttercup for the center of my flower. Now there you may have seen me trying to flip my cardstock piece over and that is because you'll notice when you die cut pieces out, the die kind of leaves that nice beveled edge. So I wanted to make sure that that was flipped over in the correct direction because it's just going to look nice. So I have a few different card front panels that I created and I'm going to be turning these into cards. I do have a couple card examples as well, but I just was having a lot of fun. There were very minimal pieces to this and so I just went through and die cut with a bunch of different colors of cardstock. Now for that background, I had used, I believe it was powder with white flowers, briar rose, sprout, parsley, pink lemonade, and stardust. So that was the first one I showed you. The second one with the blue flowers is where I used white cardstock and I have harbor, powder, honeycomb, artichoke, and avocado. And then of course I did a rainbow and I loved creating that rainbow piece. It just was so colorful. I had so many pieces left over that I created a second one that I turned into a card. Now I use the defined stamp set for my sentiment, which I heat embossed in white embossing powder onto black cardstock. That one has a pebble base. This is another one of my favorites where I used poppy and nectar for my flowers. I have sea glass and juniper for the leaves. And then again, use that defined stamp set for my sentiment with a pebble card base. And now this is one where I just used the flowers. I didn't use the die cut inlay. I was able to match up very easily where the pieces would go for this one. So I created kind of this little grid using the different flowers. And the sentiment fantastic was die cut out of the mirror gold from the delightful day bundle. Now here I wanted to show you my stash. So I have these little plastic jewelry cases and when I was die cutting, I saved everything I wasn't using. And it was very, actually quite easy for me to separate the big flower from the smaller center flower and I divided them up into their cases. So if I want to make more cards, which you can see I have lots of supplies for so I can do that, it is going to be very easy for me to pick through that case and find the color flower or leaves that I want. You'll find it very handy to have a double-sided adhesive sheets handy, which is what I used to place my cardstock pieces in so I didn't have to mess with any adhesives. Also some press and seal and maybe a set of tweezers and a pick and place tool. And that is the Posies Inlay Die Set available over at Concord and Ninth. <music>